kindred artist spirits, I guess. <laughs> cool. My name is Keelan Maney. Um, well, you know, I saw the first one happen. I actually, when the first one happened, I was um, working on a mural somewhere in downtown Phoenix, so I couldn't participate and it was really hard, but it was fun to watch everyone participate and see what they created. And so I was so grateful when Danielle posted that they were gonna have another one and I stepped right to it and I was really excited to be able to participate in this one. We probably met through um, social media. Um, through the Phoenix Mural Project, she's documented murals all over the valley and she's documented mine. And so I think we've just had conversations from there, but then also just through liking each other's artwork and sharing with each other, um, I feel like we developed a conversation. And even today when we saw each other, she was saying that, you know, she used to do a lot of graphic design work and like my painted work reminds her of her graphic design work. So that's kind of cool. So this year's theme was the environment. Um, I usually do a lot of radial patterns and design work, um, but I used to paint a lot of birds. And so actually this is um, a painting I've kind of had as a sketch for a long time and thought that this would be really appropriate for this mural project. Um, and I thought I've been trying to incorporate my radial patterns in with other um, like more realistic elements. And so I thought this was like a perfect opportunity to play with that idea. <laughs> Why? Um, you know, I love to paint birds. Um, I think of birds um, as like my students. I work with high school students. And so they, um, you know, I have them for four years and then they graduate and they go do their thing. And so for me, as like a coping mechanism, I just think of the, them as the birds. Like they sit, they park, you know, I spend time with them and then they go off and do their thing. And sometimes they fly back by, but sometimes, you know, they're off flying around doing their own thing. Oh, well, yeah, it's been interesting. Uh, when the pandemic like hit, I was finishing a mural uh, for downtown Phoenix, and actually it was for a restaurant and they never even opened because of the pandemic. And then after that, it was just like every project I was doing just dried up. So I decided um, to paint my house. I've always wanted to paint a mural on the front, and so that became like my summer project. And so I kept myself busy doing that, and. I made a pop-up gallery in front of my house um, that featured different work like every day or every week. And so I did the, all these little projects to keep me busy. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just like a colorist. I'm not a big fan of beige. And so I think the more color that we have, the better. Um, and I see it from like, just about from a mental health point of view. If you stand in something, in front of something that's really vibrant and happy, you're gonna feel more vibrant and happy by looking at it. So I love coming out and seeing other artists work and um, you know, and seeing what they create and meeting other artists. And um, it, it's, I mean, it, I know we're right now all like kind of socially distanced, but usually we'd be here all together and like, you know, compact and you know, chit-chatting and all that stuff. So, but it is nice because a lot of times when I paint murals, I'm just by myself. And that, you know, and you feel isolated, you kind of get in this like box. And it's really great to like watch someone work and watch their process. Like just like watching all the spray painting over here is awesome. <laughs> <laughs>